How you feeling? Great. Yeah, no, I feel good. Happy to be back, back out there. What happened after that practice? Um, right after the practice, got in the cold tubs, went to go get an IV, and then we kind of, I'm kind of a hard stick sometimes, and then uh, missed me a few times, and then after that, I just started like profusely sweating, and then started full body cramping. Good Any, times. Anything happen like that to you before? You mean um, my freshman year in Miami. Uh, like the third training camp day. Kind of almost the same. Uh, not fun. Yeah. And so they just over the course of the next few days gave you some IVs and rehydrated? Yeah, they, uh, they, they uh, did a lot. I mean, they uh, you know looked out for me and uh, just brought me back in slowly. I um, appreciate them, but you know I was biting tooth and nail to get back out here. Were you at the facility the whole time, or did you have to go, um, you to, go to the hospital or anything, did you? No, I was uh, here the most time. Did you know what was happening? I mean, the old experience? Yeah, I mean, that's why I went in the cold tub right after practice, and then I was like, ah, I should probably be safe and get an IV. And then it was probably just as as they missed me, and I started like to sweat even more. I probably, you know, I didn't really have much much liquid left in my body to sweat like that. And then it kind of just went downhill pretty quick. Is it scary? Yeah, it's not scary. It's just not a fun time. It's just, imagine just, your muscles, especially was my, my legs mostly just just cramped up uh, just like that for, for a while. How do you prevent that in the future? I mean, um, I, mean I think if I, if I would have got stuck the first time, I would have been all right. Uh, but, you know, just staying hydrated and um, that's really it. And so any other symptoms that happen? And like, are you, forgive me for not knowing a lot about heat exhaustion, like did you, were you vomiting? Or, no, no, just just yelling from, from cramping. How do you like having your reps managed in practices? You know, I'm a little older now, so it's not that it's not that bad. I come from a place where good old Rodney Hudson didn't, uh, before I was in Buffalo, when I was in Oakland, the guy had never practiced. <laughs> you, can see, you should see him now in AZ. Uh, I'm just, uh, but no, I mean, it was cool. But um, with our numbers g dropping, uh, you know, I feel bad for the guys, so definitely getting back out there and taking all the reps. Okay. John, what do you make of this offensive line so far? Obviously, it was an area that needed a lot of improvement, and they were able to do some things this offseason to, to, to work mm -hmm. on that. Where do you feel like you guys are in terms of being the type of line that this fan base like envisions? Yeah, um, we got a lot of work to do. I mean, I think we're, we can be – the thing is, I think we can be really good. Um, but. It all, it's all about getting our reps together and getting our, our verbiage the same. Um, early on, it's just like guys are saying things, but they're saying things from different systems or you know, in the heat of the moment, we got to get uh, our communication down like the best we can. Um, and I mean, Evan and, and AT, they're, uh, I've been around some good tackles uh, in my career and I've never seen a rookie in Evan be such a, a vet so early on. That dude is like, after every meeting at night, he's always, uh, we walk by, I walk by the, the training room and or the, the weight room and he's foam rolling or doing something. He's just uh, well beyond his years in, in that regard of, of taking care of his body and having AT back out there uh, since, you know, in OTAs he wasn't there. It's a uh, it's great. I mean, he's he's a really good uh, young player, and uh, kind of my job to make sure all they got to worry about is blocking the guy in front of them and not thinking about things. Evans lost his share though of the one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. reps. How does it, how have you seen him bounce back from that? Because he probably didn't lose many yeah. reps at all in college. I mean, it's one-on-ones. It's a defensive drill, um, and he's also working through some uh, some new techniques that that he's getting better with and honestly one-on-ones right now this early in camp we want him to not we don't want him to get beat but we want him to go out there and try things that that so he can perfect them for the regular season are some of the communication things you talked about mm -hmm. do they contribute to some of the protection issues that you guys like had the other night on the screen? yeah um it's my job with daniel to to try to figure out Wink's defense and uh, get us all going in the right way. And um, it's, uh, it's, 
I embrace the challenge. I, uh, it kind of makes coming to work fun every day, so it's not just you know the monotony. I actually have to make sure I'm sharp mentally every day to to deal with good old Wink. I know Bobby is uh, very aggressive, right? Mm -hmm. He wants you guys to be aggressive with your sets. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, how's that been received by you guys? Like, what do you think when you when you hear that? I know you just mentioned Evan having to maybe learn mm -hmm. some new techniques. Yeah. Um, it's definitely, that's our starting point. Um, but, you know, if you're playing a guy that's a, a double arm swipe big guy, uh, a guy that's going to go try to play the edges, we have different things to to deal with that sort of thing. But uh, as long as our whole philosophy as the O-line is staying um, the depth and width of the pocket. So if we can get on a guy early and quick, it's going to help with the depth of the pocket. When you watch films of the line after practice, mm -hmm. do you sit there and say, when you see Saquon and go, this could be pretty good this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Saquon, uh, he's definitely up there. I, I played with great backs like Marshawn and Duke Johnson, um, Octavius Murray, you know, a lot of guys. And Saquon's definitely up there in, in the talent level. And more, more importantly, I'm impressed with his questions of the game. Like he's always picking my mind and trying to just understand this new offense for him. And he's, these, these are, some of these runs are different uh, than he is used to. So it's just impressive to, he's always asking me some kind of question about it. And it, it's honestly, it's refreshing to, to have those kind of insight, insightful questions. John, do you think do you think this team is in football shape, and how has the team received Dable saying like we need to get better at this conditioning thing? Um, I think we can be better. Um, yeah, I think we can be better, and we will be. We haven't seen uh, for his first four years Saquon in practice get, ever get taken to the ground. It's just that kind of physicality has not really been present in mm -hmm. training camp for the run game. You guys had a pretty physical day today. Um, do you like that? Do you, do you guys like getting to it early rather than waiting and waiting until you get to that? Yeah, I mean, today was uh, basically like inside run for a few, like four periods. So as a lineman and as I'm sure I, Saquon in the huddle was all fired up. I mean, we were, we were all out there having fun, um, which probably after the first period, and then we started like realizing what kind of day it was going to be. And we it, it kind of, I kind of, at least for me, I was, Practice got easier as long, like the more we went on, uh, the longer we went. Just because it's, you know, run plays, we, as linemen, we like just putting our bodies on people. How do uh, all the changes on the second team offensive line? Mm -hmm. Obviously, we know McEnoe, McKeith, and Corey Cunningham before camp even started. Mm -hmm. Does that put more on you guys as starters that, like, the wave behind you isn't going to really push you, so you have to push yourselves? Uh, not really. You just, you kind of feel for the, for the guys that are having like Jamil and, and, and Bob, Ben, we call him Bob. Um, so Bob and, and Jamil, like, yeah, we call him Bob. <laughs> um, I was wondering what Bob was. So it was more uh, after I got done with my reps, just trying to make sure, give them some water and give them some encouragement because they're not, they're taking a lot more reps than than we are and than most of the other guys are. Why Bob? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's OG. That was OG. We, OG called him Bob. I think it was like for there's like some billboard of I don't know if it's Bob sandwiches or Bob something, and Ben looks like that guy, so we just call him Bob. Like Bob's burgers or something. Yeah, it was something I don't remember, but yeah, good old Bob. John, you've been in the league for quite a while. You've seen different situations. Obviously, people look at this team and say rebuilding. The expectations are low. Mm -hmm. What do you guys make of that? What do you make of that as a player? I mean, I'm, we're just trying to win the day. Um, I'm not here to make all, I'm going to give you a, a record thing, but as long as we win the day every day, uh, the, the record sh should take care of themselves. And I mean, I have full confidence in, in Dabes and Bobby and Kafka and Wink, so we'll see. But I'm confident and I'm excited to get this going. This is Brian Tuss, the first time being a head coach. The way he runs camp, is it different than other places yeah. he's been? Yeah, he, he lets us sleep in, which is great. Um, <laughs> and you can always, like, we, we don't, our first thing starts at 9. It's usually first thing starts at, like, 7.30, 8, the latest. Um, 
But with that extra time, people, guys could, you know, you get to sleep in if you need some extra sleep or you get to come in early and get some treatment before practice. So it's been great and it, like he's been, it's been great. And I'm, I'm really like happy to be here and, and happy for him just uh, to see the way he, he's handling this new job. So you guys have a chance to show up and get around the field. You guys basically show up for work and go right on the field. Yeah, I mean, we, so we get on at 10, so we got like our first meeting at 9, a little like five minute meeting, and then just get ready to go out there, yeah. John, last one. Have you noticed that uh, there's some places where maybe offensive line fly under the radar? Have you noticed yet that that's not the case with the Giants? Yeah. Um, yeah. Last place I was at, we kind of, we kind of didn't get, you know, we were the, the thorn in, in the in, in the heel, you know what I'm saying? We were the here it's different. It's it's nice being here and and Dave's been given has really been on us and, and, and giving us love. So it's been great. I'm happy to be here and happy to be with Dave's.